hi everyone what's up welcome back to my channel this is enigma from enigma inc so let us do work goes the next series which is i think sixth series yeah so i think the sixth series yeah let's do work goes for december this can go up to january as well so don't worry it's not like limited to december only because time is fluid it can go up to january as well <clears throat> This is a general reading take. However, it resonates for personal readings and more accuracy. You can book me on WhatsApp or Instagram and I'm sure you won't get disappointed. So have patience and uh, we'll work this out very well. Secondly, you can also follow me on Instagram for short picker card readings, tarot related updates, some manifestation free techniques that I give you. And... Uh, yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like what i do and if you want to see more such videos in future so let us see uh what goes Ooh, what's happening what's happening sun moon rising and venus signs in virgos my favorite signs because you guys have loved my channel the most <sighs> I see like there's a lot of optimism in your personal life right now. You're doing great. There's a lot of positivity, a lot of optimism, excitement. I feel like even if you're alone, even if you're single, you're at best. You're still doing great. You don't know that. You have so much of capabilities. Like you don't need a person to be happy. You're just simply like an innocent child. Like you can manifest anything you want because you're... You don't want, you don't ask much in life. You just simply, you just simple, you just simply want peace, love, happiness, your family and everything and it works. And uh, whatever you do, you do it with a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, with a lot of poise and grace and you have self-confidence. I do see like all your cups are getting manifested, filled. I do see like law of attraction is in your favor. But yeah, there's someone who has left your life recently because there was not enough love there. This may still be confusing you if I did this right, if I did this wrong. You're avoiding that person, okay? Or you may be confused about them right now because there's some lingering feeling you still have for them. Someone was very happy around your vicinity and when you're not there, they're not feeling happy. They're feeling very confused. They don't know what to do now. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Basically, any sign Leo strongly. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer also strong. Yeah. Soulmate. Oh, my God. I do see, like, if you keep on working on yourself and, uh, uh, you know, embrace self-love at all the stages, points of life, you're definitely going to attract your soulmate. Your soulmate will be too into you because everybody wants to be around a happy person. Nobody wants to be around a sad person or someone who is too eager for love or too eager for things. So don't be too eager. Just enjoy. You're, you're a ray of hope for many. You're a very exciting person. People get excited. People get people feel happy around you. You may be going in parties and ceremonies and this is making you like this is energizing you in a way. Uh, there's a relationship you may have recently let go of and you're avoiding that completely and I think that you're coming out of a dark phase and you're coming together towards a happy future I see a soulmate coming towards you okay this could be someone from a different place like a very far away place or this person has just visited your country or your city to just look around and then leave this could be a tourist that may fall in love with you. You may not know that this person will be too into you. This could be a younger person as well. Maybe meeting at a bar with this person. So go out, hang out as much as you can in this situation. I do see like someone wants to get to know you. You will be able to get to know someone. Yes, you are not doing it. God is doing it. So don't worry. There is a higher power around you that's doing things for you. And you just have to embrace it and you just have to process it. All right, four, four, four is your number. Write it on your left arm. Healer, some of you have spiritual gift of healing. Some of you like to heal people through your words. Some of you are very gentle with others. If you give love, you'll get love. So I do see like you're kind of a spiritual person. You have a gift of healing or your person may be a doctor or a healer like that. Tell me more about Virgos. 
Okay, this is December and onwards. Queen of Cups. Someone is going to make you fall in love with them. Whoa. That's there. <laughs> you cannot run away with, with this. But always take it slow. Even if it's love or not love, just take it slow. What else do you want me to clarify on this? This Queen of Cups with a lover's card. I see a soulmate coming in. Is going to sweep you off your feet. This person could be a Gemini or Scorpio Pisces Cancer. They're, they're going to like hold you and they're going, they're going to like sweep you off your feet and you'll, you won't be able to say no. Okay, this, this guy or this girl or this person, whoever it is, is going to heal you immensely. Yeah, Nine of Cups, this is your wish fulfillment. Your wish fulfillment is coming. Oh my God, this, this is going to make up so many captions. How will I fit all of these in one? Well, this is exciting. Virgos are always exciting for me to read. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy, Strongly. I do see like the moment they see you, they'll be like, whoa, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I was looking for. So good looking, so smart, so nice, so gentle, so tender, you know, so loving and so sweet to talk to. So I feel like this person is uh, going to feel a lot of fire and attraction towards you, like a lot of passion towards you. You need to release something. Yes, I do see like you recently tried to release someone. Just completely release it. Erase it from the history. So you can bring back that happy, go lucky energy and uh, bounce back faster. And embrace new opportunities that are coming your way and not lose them. Okay, not waste them. Yeah, I told you. Love a bounce. This is a new beginning happening in love. A soulmate coming in. So be ready. Don't waste your precious energy and time on something that's not working for you. Okay, this is my advice. All right, let's see more. Virgos, please. Envy, someone will be jealous of you. Maybe your past lover is going to be very, very jealous of your confidence and of you being so attractive that you're attracting so many opposite people, like people of opposite sex towards you, like... Uh, Freedom. I do see like this person is not happy that you freed them or you freed yourself from them. They want you still, they want to still bound you. They want to still control you. And because you've decided to let it go and free yourself and you spoke out what is not, what is bothering you. It's because you, you came out of the feeling of um, uh, bounding binding and feeling of getting chained and you freed yourself you spoke what you wanted to and that person is not liking it they're jealous because you spoke up okay and uh, they don't want you to roam around free and have the uh, cake of life you know where goes please success you're going to be successful in love don't worry love is going to come so have patience relax it's okay everything's going to work in your favor do not panic if you start panicking if you start controlling things things are not going to work this is not how law of attraction works law of attraction works when you stop worrying that's what the angels are trying to tell you that success is very close to you just need to close your eyes and leave it on god and everything's going to fall in place without you even trying so you relax okay just relax work on yourself that's it god has given you a soul to love and it is your own soul so start loving first so i do see like there's no need to worry everything is going to fall in place so relax okay what else do we have here One message for my world is what do they need to do here? Okay. Oh, unnecessary worry. See, no need to worry. Unnecessary worries. You're simply worrying a lot for unnecessary reasons. Don't do that. Because I see like the worries are going to bring wrinkles on your face. That's all they're going to do. It's not going to change your situation. It's going to worsen your situation. So send positive signals to space if you want it back double folds. So release it and leave it on God because that's how you heal. So I do see like you're having unnecessary worries. Just leave it on God. Let it be. Don't be too serious about life. 
okay otherwise you'll feel stuck you'll feel stressed be like a child you know be more giving and stop expecting too much be a bigger energy you are a bigger energy i do see that what are the signs that are coming your way taurus i do see money also coming in a job offer your confidence getting boosted pisces your dreams are going to show you a way somehow your purpose is going to come through your dreams some of you may have pisces in the charts as well capricorn so these are the possible signs that are coming towards you reaching out to you and help you grow in a way need not be soulmate could be karmic could be anything it's just going to help you grow so stop falling in love with every person that's coming into your life know that some could be there for some lessons some could be there for actual love some could be there for friendship simply friendship okay some could be there for nothing so release keep your strings flexible okay don't be too rigid so that's the reading for my virgos i hope you've enjoyed this and if you did do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon also mention in the comment section how this resonated share it with at least five of your friends stick around stay tuned bye